So I just spent AFK in while I work on this week's update, and there we have 99 woodcutting. Still gonna keep doing some more, try to get fletching up, but uh, yeah, that's awesome. That is another 99 out of the way, our second one actually. Yay, and there is 99 fishing. That is what I believe our third 99. Just kind of getting some AFK ones done. Probably gonna do cooking next since we got a lot of fish. And there we have 99 cooking. Figured it just made the most sense to do that next. So I've just been doing some mining, working on one of the last AFK skills I have left. Uh, we have the full prospector set now, so that's pretty nice. It really doesn't take that long because you, you get a lot of gold nuggets, so 77 mines all, all it took me on master mode. Alright, so I just finished up my last mulch pearl. We can get our final piece, the boots. Now we have the set. We don't need the fish sack. I think it's just cosmetic, I'm pretty sure. So now we have full angler. I don't really need it because we're already 99 fishing, but just kind of want everything for completionist's sake. And, uh, it, you know, probably go for all 200 mils eventually at some point, right? So might as well get it. It is definitely worth getting uh, early before you get 99, but, you know, you have to do this mini game to get it. So it's just up to you if you, if you want to do that. So in the last update, the Drunk Slayer Master was added, and you can now upgrade your Slayer Home for 50 mil cash, so let's do that now. What even is my Slayer task? Oh, Gargoyles, nice. Why does it say 67? <laughs> Another thing that was updated recently were the Elite Mystery Boxes. So, uh, they're probably going to get updated like every week, but then there's always going to be a reason to keep it, so I think I'm just going to open it now and just hope to get something good. A Rapier was a new item that was recently added that would be pretty big. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's my first rare. It'll definitely have a lot more value once invention's out and rare components. Although, I don't even know if I would want to disassemble that. I don't know. That's cool, though. I'll take it. Alrighty, so I have spent the entire morning, the last two hours or so, doing clues. We have a nice chunk to open. Let's start off with the... Uh, I probably shouldn't just get them all out, because I'm going to deposit. Alright, let's go with the easy ones first. Red Beret. Oh, wow, that was a lot of pages. Three pages, all different, too. Not bad. Not bad. I would I would not mind completing the uh, some of these guidebooks. I don't know. There, there will probably be achievements for it, sort of. I don't know. Maybe. It just makes the most sense to do something with them. Like we did on Revival 1. Okay, we got some mediums. Sadly, no Ranger Boots, it seems. A little unfortunate. Alright, let's try some hard clothes. Looking for some god D hat pieces. Robin Hood hat, nice. Nice, I'm surprised that doesn't yell. Two to from those. So, yeah, I mean, like, I, I basically, I have nothing from clues. I haven't done really any clues other than the few clues you've seen. Um, I've just been stockpiling them, so. A lot of this stuff, a lot of the god D hat should be good, should be unique. And we already have top and bottom, so that should be solid. Last three, and then we have. Am I running out of bank space? No, no, we're plenty fine on bank space. I oh got forty-three elites, so it should be a good opening. Hopefully, we can get like the the third age rates have been upped on, on elite, and we didn't get any from those hard. So it'd be nice to get at least one piece of third age. Like third age legs would be amazing because of the prayer bonus. Crystal key and dark infinity color kit. That's cool. Blue dehyd. Oh, there we go. There's our. Of course, it's van braces. Of course, that's our first piece. Alright, sorry about that. My nephew showed up, but uh, we are ready to go with the last 39. Hopefully we can get some more third age. We did just get those van braces. Uh, I'll probably just disassemble them when components become a thing. Dragon Skimitar kit. That's not bad. We already have Dead boots, so we don't really need any of those. A shield would be nice just to get one. I don't know exactly where all I would use it. I'm not sure. Briefcase, nice. I might make this thing teleport again. I'm undecided. Uh, I'll just open them and loot from the floor. A lot of cash. Uh, I guess that was oh okay, that was a monocle and then the thir then the um, armadillo shield. I, sh I probably shouldn't have skipped that one so fast. We got potions. I'm pretty sure potions are rare. Oh, I bet was that bandos ancient. Just got a couple shields. Nothing crazy. Honestly, I feel like that. Yeah. Wow. Well, Heavy casket, and wow, nothing too crazy. Only one piece of third age from all those clues. Rip, and it's like the worst third, it's literally the worst third age. I think the coif would have been better. I am I mean, I suppose the invention value will probably be the same across all pieces, so I guess there's that, right? There's that, there's always invention. That's why I liked invention. Invention makes some of the useless stuff from RuneScape better. 
Okay, so I got my very first master clue. We only ended up getting one master from all of those clues, but you can now get masters from clues. So, let's see what we get. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. What is that, Zamrock? Zamrock Godsword Ornament Kit. That's kind of cool. It's useless, <laughs> but if I ever get a Zamrock Godsword, it'll look cool. Yo, I just got a crack a tentacle. I'm trying to get a, a trident, obviously, but all right. I'll take that. And nice. 99 magic. Just working on a video that you'll probably see before this clip, but uh, yeah, nice. Yo, tried it. Let's go. Third task. Not bad at all, man. That's awesome. Let's go. I wasn't even paying attention. About to kill my first Zora. Should be able to get the Titan's Trial done. Pretty much the first thing I was going to do after I got the Trident. Come on now. Of course, I'm never going to hit because I started recording. Why did he just not do anything then? Okay, fine. Fine. Play that way, Zora. Is that it? No, come on, please. There we go, finally. Yeah, nothing nothing interesting from Zora, but the trade the achievement is done, Mystery Box. Ah oh, meh. And with this thing we can make our upgraded armor. Boom, nice. Nice. We have one of the cool kids with the upgraded Titans armor. And if I had one more shard I could do my amulet, but I'll have to go get some. So I've just been working on Slayer, getting stats up and everything. I have 10 crystal shards, so I'm going to upgrade some gear. If you're wondering how I got these shards, again, this dungeon right here, the Isleworth dungeon, it's located right here. If you open it, all of these monsters, all of them have a chance of dropping shards. So anytime I get Blood Veil Task or Water Fiends, Neck Wiles, Curious, anytime I get any of those tasks, I definitely do them in there. And we've got some crystal shards, so we'll upgrade our staff. Actually, I think you used this on the... Oh, I'm a mess. And then we're going to upgrade our amulet. Nice. Amulet actually has some pretty nice upgrades for staff. Probably isn't going to be useful for a while, but hey, just figured we'd get it out of the way. So we only have one item left to upgrade, and that is the crossbow. Nice, just doing some Slayer and 99 hit points. That's another 99 unlocked. Weep. So I'm just doing some Slayer, and somebody was at the catacomb spot, so I figured I'd just come in the wilderness. We actually got, I got my first the Mysterious Emblem drop. That's cool. These are probably more rare than they need to be. I think it's like 1 in 500, and obviously, uh, you know, they're, they're not crazy valuable. If I'm not mistaken, all it is is, uh, it's just blood money. So it's not crazy, but, you know, I figured since it was my first one, I might as well record a little clip. Right, so Invention just went live, and I've got quite a bit of things ready to go. I already got some of these crystal components. Let's save one. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna be a nice chunk of components right there. And you also get experience from disassembling based on how many components you get. So if you can ever find anything like, like you know, and lucky components might actually be really broken. <laughs> Let's let me uh, just get some random stuff. I'm not sure what all would disassemble. Um, anything that doesn't disassemble, obviously, we'll fix, but, you know, let's go with some of the stuff we know is going to work. Yeah, I mean, like, if you have any third... Oh, you know that third age? Yeah, let's see how much experience I'm going to get for this third age piece. And keep in mind, I'm a master mode, so I am getting, like, the worst amount of experience. Like, the worst XP rates. Where did I put that thing? Just blind. Here it is. Bam! 825 XP! But, you know, like I said, I am a master, so... There you go. And uh, there's going to be a lot of things that we'll have to add to make sure that they uh, work for, you know, there's an example right there. But uh, should be fun. Should be good to go. Uh, I'm going to just kind of do a bunch of random stuff and resume with any, uh, any like, items I actually make. So it might be dumb, but I'm going to disassemble my Kraken Tentacle. I don't really plan to use it. I'm just going to use the Master Abyssal Whip because this thing does actually have charges. And I'm just too lazy to, you know, mess with that right now. So let's do it. Okay, that is awesome. That's, see, that's what I wanted. You can get organic and Uber, and I don't really have any other way to get Ubers, so to get 25k is really nice. So I made 10 uh, magic oysters and then completed 10 clue scrolls. At the moment, it seems like hard clues are the only ones really worth using them on. At least until more crystal components are available. Eh, nothing too interesting, but we'll probably just disassemble it all. Okay, so I've been doing some invention, and we have ourselves enough stuff to do some of these pirates transmutes. So we do five, I believe. E no? Yes. Yeah. And should get a nice chunk of money from this. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I've just been catching implings, and I finished the hunter's vision achievement, so we can now upgrade our wolfbone crossbow. 
Okay, we got the shards and the crossbow. Let's use it on it. And boom, beast hunter crossbow. Nice. That is basically our crossbow for a while. And I almost forgot about the mystery box. That rip. <laughs> that sucks.